Hello and welcome to Christmas Massacre, an indie PC game developed by Puppet Combo, where they use PlayStation 1 graphics and also pay homage to exploitation film from the 70s and 80s using reference such as Black Christmas and Silent Night and Deadly Night, where you play as a man dressed up in as a Santa Claus and you're forced to kill everybody who believes are naughty. So this is basically a murder simulator of some kind. And depending on how the game runs, it's pretty cheap, purposely cheap. And from what I've heard, this game is pretty short, depending on how long it is. It just feels more of an arcade vibe. And this is also, like I said, developed by Puppet Combo, who are well known for similar games like that, such as Power Drill Massacre, even though it's not so on Steam, as well as Murder House and whatnot. But I'm not going to go into detail, since we're in the holiday, let's just go into the Christmas Massacre. And before we do, be sure you leave a like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. So with that said, let's begin. Christmas 1959 Larry, you're not allowed to come to the Christmas party. I'm sending you to bed right now. child wearing the Santa Claus mask and from the looks of this it almost looks pretty similar to Manhunt so we have to go downstairs to the kitchen to find the knife everyone is gone downstairs to have a party but me because I'm the troublemaker and again this is a pretty simple game you just have to run over there and not get caught nobody seems to be around also there are some extras and secrets that are run are around Upstairs. Hold it. And every time I go to a shadow, everything dark turns blue. Helps you see better. This is the nun part. Nice drawing. So basically, I am an orphan. There's a nun over there taking a shower. Naughty me. But enough said, let's go. See if I can find the knife downstairs. And everyone is having a good time. Just need to be quiet, stay away from the shadow. And there's the nun that sent me to my room. You know what, I'm just gonna have fun anyway. Let me see what happened if I just stand right in front of her. Larry, get back to bed. So it's pretty hard to set up the, the device that I'm trying to record this video because it took me a while to figure it out it was all scattering and all that stuff enough said try to sneak behind the nun and you find a knife I just check around to see if there's any collectible not secret but collectible what I meant It's 
time to do some killing. And all the children are hiding from me. That's fine. I'll just chase them around. Just get rid of the body, slash it a lot, slash it some more. Let me find these other children. Gotcha, bitch. There's a nun upstairs, I can just take care of her. What do you know? later and here I am still wearing the Santa mask watching the some sort of movie holiday film so as you can see Larry here is a Christmas obsessed maniac who's trying to believe to be the next Santa Claus and he is killing all the people who are naughty Maybe you should just be Gramp Krampus instead. Instead of taking children away, you're just taking the lives of children. Which is a pretty interesting folk form of Krampus, which is the offspring shadow or something like that of Santa Claus. And as you can see here, there is a anthropomorphic Christmas tree with googly eyes, always spotting around, telling Larry to kill people. Listen Larry, I was thinking, a lot of people have been naughty this year. I need you to go out and kill. You must kill. Kill, 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 kill. Keep on killing Larry. Punish everybody who has been naughty. Uh, whatever you say, Christmas tree. So basically, this is actually in Larry's head. Alright, let me just explore around the house before I go any further. Just a mannequin of something. Of me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go in and drive around the area. And I'm in full Santa suit, as you can see. Just like in Silent Night, Deadly Night. Or part two, I was gonna say four or three. So we're gonna go into this house and take care of all the naughty people that has been bad. And yes, like I said before, the graphic is a bit off, but that's the whole point. It's trying to purposely try to create homage to 90 games from the PlayStation 1 era. All right, 
Alright, so we're gonna have to kill them as quickly as we can without getting spotted. And I don't know how she didn't recognize it. And what do you know? We just kill people real quick. So again, it's important to blutter up all the um, carcass so you can get more points. It's pretty disturbing. And we got an S rank. Next stage. Up, so we're gonna start over again. see if there's any collectibles around. And nope. Alright, let's get out of here. Another S rank. Alright, let's see what he had to say. Good job, Larry. But you know your work is never done. You must die. Of course, my work is never done. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas. If you don't like Christmas, then don't bother celebrating. Unless if you're Jewish and you celebrate Hanukkah. good it is or quick you are or without getting spotted or whatever.
try to change my costume into the miner. Actually, this is something I should wear on Valentine's Day instead. Like the movie My Bloody Valentine, where the killer is dressed as a miner, terrorizing people in the mine. Alright, looks like we're back in this house. I'm not sure if that's the same one, but we're just going to take care of this. Even if it's not that good, I'm going to try to keep on getting the best scores I can. I can't do that, but I'll try. And I got the throwing knife. And where's all my presents? Good job, Larry. Listen, Larry. You can kill by throwing your knife. Just aim and press the space bar. You have to kill, Larry. Kill them all. Kill, kill, kill. Yes, I almost forgot. Even though I already unlocked it, I've already beaten this game already. So, yeah, you may notice that I already got the unlockable and all that. And we have a footage of some holiday movie. Garbage. And I suppose that's the victim that I killed earlier. 
You know what? There we go. I just wanted to make it look like a 70s vibes or 80s. This is actually a VHS setting. Time to go to sleep. December 30. I'm gonna change my outfit into a clown. Not exactly the John Wayne Gacy, but it's still the same. Let's see if this is the right area. No, it's right here. Concert. Speaking of which, it's awful. I'm not going to be using that.
right this way. Peekaboo. There we go. <sighs> what a Christmassy time to rest after a long day of slushing. And that's pretty weird. I never see an oven do that. Breathing up and down like that. Alright, let's just go to sleep. And I thought I saw a figure. Dressed up as my Santa Claus suit. Hmm. Thought I saw something. December 31st, New Year's Eve. So we're in the movie theater now. Let's see what they're showing. French Nepo Girls. Girls, sexual pleasure. Yeah, this is one of those X rated snuff. Not snuff, but exploitation films. Let's see. Wait, I didn't know Ja Ru. I did not know Ja Ru was gonna perform here. Alright, I really can't speak today, so let's just go to the theater and clean out the mess. Just waiting for more people to pass by. Search party, which is also another. Damn it. Uh, search party, which is also another puppet combo game. straight to assembly. Alright. Garbage day. I don't know what that movie is, but whatever. Let's move on. And Search Party is also another puppet combo game. Let's see more and more people just stop by just to see if there's anybody.
Oh, that was a close one. C plus. Yeah, nobody seems to be here anymore, including the tree. And yes, there are more flies. Something's going on. I'm just gonna have to check upstairs. Who's that? An old lady in my house. Yeah, your neck bone isn't attached entirely to your head, it's just sticking out from the neck. And everything is burning. You are going to burn to death, Larry. Is that so? That was weird. Chattering teeth. Alright, so now I'm back here. Not back here, but what I'm saying. Someplace. Let's see where I have to go. Okay, so basically I've collected all the collectibles that's roaming around this area. And I do not want to go back to the other side because I'll fall off. Some sort of glitch in the game. Hi, Larry. Oh, hi, random stranger. And goodbye. I'm in some sort of moor. I don't know who you are. Or you. Just random people. over there so let's go down and I am descending into hell itself it was all just a dream who's there it's the Christmas tree what do you want Well, all right, that's pretty creepy. Just coming towards me like that. I can't sleep, Larry. Okay. Why? I need to tell you something, Larry. All right, go ahead. But first, you must kill. Go back to where everything started and kill. Burn down to school. And I got the flamethrower. And I'm already in my underwear. With the flamethrower. I don't know how, but I'm just gonna f burn them all. Larry. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, where is the... There it is. 
I don't even know how I am not getting sick from not wearing my underwear and all that. Doesn't even matter, because I'm going to change back to my Santi suit. Oh, that was creepy. Baby face. I didn't even notice that. Basically, the baby face mask looks very, I can't see, kind of disturbing. Kind of reminds me of Happy Death Day. Not the dumb, the baby itself, but the design of it. Or the design, I'm saying it backwards. I'm just going to switch to my knife because it's more easier to um, take care of business. wish this had a map so I don't get to get lost easily. And there's the rest of the nuns. Go downstairs if I could find it. There it is. And hey, that's nice. Next one. There we go. Time to take 
nailed you. Take care of this without any talking. Because this is the only part that I have a hard time doing. janitor for nothing. I'm gonna see if this lady comes either this way or that way. Oh, that direction. Alright, let's go on. Stairs. Yeah, that was pretty the that was pretty much the hardest part of the level. So I'm gonna have to use my flamethrower for this one. And just for the hell of it, I'm gonna change back to my Santa Claus suit. Chris Kringo. Let's heat this up.
easy. Frustratingly hard. But I finally got through it. I really don't like the mechanic for that flamethrower though. Larry, you rotten bastard. You'll burn in hell for all time. Wait, what are you doing? It's Garbage day! And let me just do this just for the hell of it. Time to go home. Sicko, don't move. Man, looks like I'm caught. Sorry, man. I had to call for you just the FBI. Gave me too much. And I didn't have a gun for it. Larry was convicted of 36 counts of first degree murder. Five years later, Christmas Eve. Oh, I guess this is a secret ending. Everyone's dancing around the holiday. Especially the one with the green hair. Come on, everyone. It's time for bed. And here I am somewhere. Just gotta go and... I can't read that part. Hey, something is missing. Somebody's missing. And that's me. So basically I'm in a mental asylum. I just don't know what I look like because it's blurred it out. No matter. Let's just find a way out. Yep, I'm in the asylum. For the criminally insane. Let's see. That's not the way I went. I'm gonna go downstairs, all right? And I got caught. What's it about? History. Okay, just reading the text. It sounds boring. It's interesting. Yeah, you know what's interesting? My knife right through your skull. 
and we're done. Time to go home. And what about my whereabout? That's sincerely unknown. And that was Christmas Massacre. Again, this is an indie horror game, as I don't think it is, from Puppet Combo. So thank you for watching this. And I'm pretty sure that there are plenty of Puppet Combo games that I can play for all you fanatics and whatnot. So, like I said, this is this. This game is pretty quick. Hope you enjoy the holiday and have a good year. If there's anything that you like, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in the next project.